So on the motor terminal block, we have U1, V1, W1, and then W2, U2, V2. This is how the terminals are arranged on the terminal block. Okay. So in case you want to do delta, you just bridge it this way. U1 will connect to W2, V1 will connect to U2, and then W1 will connect to V2. And if you want to do star, you just remove the bars and then you break them this way, okay? You break them, you connect it this way. That is the star. So you have the windings U1, U2. V1, V2, W1, W2. So in case you want to do star, you bridge them this way. You bridge the down ones, the twos, U2, V2, W2, and then you push the power here, U1, V1, W1. So this is star. This is the delta. U1. U2, V1, V2, W1, W2. So in case you want to do the delta, as I said, U1 will go to W2. So this is U1. V1 will go to U2. This is V1. U2. W1 will go to V2. So this is the delta. Okay? In star delta, we have three contactors. We have the main contactor, the star contactor, and delta contactor. So, line 1, line 2, line 3. Line 1, line 2, line 3. So, our main contactor is here. So, from main contactor, we connect it to overload. From the overload to the motor, U1, V1, W1, W2, U2, V2. So we connect line 1 to this side, line 2. Then line 3. So we have connected line 1 to U1, line 2 to V1, line 3 to W1. Now left with our delta contactor. It is also here. So let's see something here. You see? In delta configuration, okay, U1 was connected to W2. Let's see here, U1 was connected to W2. So, this is our U1 line, line 1, this, this line. So, we trace it. So, the same U1 also comes here. So, U1 connected to W2. So, U1. We'll go to W2. This is W2. V1 was connected to U2. You see here, V1 was connected to U2. So this is V1 line. You trace it, bring it here. Then we extend it to U2. And then 
W1 was connected to V2. You can see it here. W1 was connected to V2. So this is W1. We extend it down. This is V2. So this is the delta configuration. Okay. Now let's reach the star. You draw our star contactor here. So for the star configuration, I said you would join the tools together, all the tools. So W2, U2, V2, you join them together. Okay? You clean this one, you move the bars, then you connect them here. Or when you come to this side, U2, V2, W2, you have joined them together. Okay, and now the tools, U2, V2, W2, this ones, okay, they are down here. This ones, W2, U2, V2. So we are going to tap this from here to this point. So we send the line here. This one will go to the, the two. This one will go to the three. Okay. So we are go going to join this W2, U2, V2 together by bridging this line. You see that? So this is the star contactor. This one will be KM. This one will be K2. This one will be K1. So del delta star overload. Alright. So this is the main contactor, delta contactor, and star contactor. So when we press on the start button, okay, the K1, that is the star contactor, would energize and the main contactor will also energize. Then the motor will run in star configuration, okay. When the preset time is reached, the star contactor will go off and then the data contactor will pick. So when the data contactor picks, it means that you have connected U1 to W2, V1 to U2 and then W1 to V2. So this is how the power diagram of star delta looks like. Okay? If you make this when you press on the start button, current will flow through to energize the new contactor. The same current also flow through here to energize the timer. Yeah. The same current also flow through here to energize the one. To energize the key one, that is the star contactor. So it means that when you press on the start button, the K1, timer, and the star protector, they are going to energize at the same time. Okay? Yes. Those will serve as a hold on. So when you take off your hand, so can you close to keep them energized? As the timer is energized, okay, it is counted. So after the present time, you connected it close contact in series with this um, star contactor. So after the present time, this contact will open. Then the star contactor will go up. This contact will close. The delta conductor will pick. That's the simple star delta. Okay? These are intervals. Yes. When the star conductor energizes, this side opens. Alright. When the delta conductor energizes, this side also opens. So these are the intervals. Okay? Yeah. So this is a simple star delta. Alright? Yeah. And if you press on the stop button, everything goes off. This is the overload really, the auxiliary contact. First time you're watching this channel, I'll urge you that you subscribe to Press Control Automation. Okay, you click on the subscribe button, and then you like the video, you put down your comments, then you share the video to your friends. Okay, there are more practical videos coming, so make sure you subscribe and then you share. I'll see you in my next tutorials. Thank you.